Hello and welcome to the Sea Change Scotland news video for June 2016. My name is John Cameron. And my name is Audrey Crilly. Summer is in full swing and we are in the mood for a festival. It just so happens that we have some big summer festival news coming up. The headlines this month are Dates and Mates We've Got Talent 2016 Aberdeen Open Board Meeting and Lunch Dates and Mates at Tea in the Park Charity Awards 2016 Learning Disability Week 2016 Volunteer Celebration Week 2016 And the Sea Change Care Inspectorate Evaluation Dates and Mates We've Got Talent 2016 Congratulations to the winner of Dates and Mates We've Got Talent 2016, Dates and Mates Glasgow member Malcolm Laurie, with his version of Wherever You Go by the Calling. Dates and Mates Renfrewshire member Graham Watterit won second place with his performance of Dance With My Father Again by Luther Van Dross, with Dates and Mates Glasgow member Sinead Scullion coming in third with her version of Immortality by Celine Dion. There were also two standout awards won this year. This was for notable performances that delivered that little bit extra. They were won by Dates and Mates Glasgow member Anne Burns for her wonderful performance of Crazy by Patsy Klein, and Dates and Mates Renfrewshire member Alison McKenzie for her fantastic gymnastic dance routine performance. Congratulations to all contestants this year. All were amazing and contributed to in putting on a spectacular and highly entertaining event. The Dates and Mates team would like to thank this year's four wonderful judges. John Comfort, local businessman and former River City star. Capital FM's Gary Spence. Karen Woodrow, lead singer of the Grand Central Band. And Andrew Agnew, TV actor, director and star of many seasonal pantomimes. Last, though certainly not least, a massive thank you to the hostess with the mostess, the ever glamorous Barbara LaBouche, and her equally fabulous assistant, Lily Minogue. The team would also like to thank all the wonderful volunteers, staff at Glasgow's Grand Old Opry, and everyone who came along to cheer our contestants on. We've Got Talent was the fifth event as part of the Sea Change Scotland 15 year celebration. To view photos, please visit the Dates and Mates Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Dates and Mates. Aberdeen Open Board Meeting and Lunch. It was a great turnout on Tuesday the 10th of May for the Sea Change Open Board and Lunch in Aberdeen. Around 60 people attended this event at the Aberdeen Arts Centre and Theatre to hear wonderful talks from our Sea Change Aberdeen colleagues people we work for in Aberdeen and Dates and Mates Aberdeen. The talks gave the Sea Change Board of Directors and people attending a good overview of the great work done so far as well as what is being planned for the future. Some of the wonderful people we work for in Aberdeen also spoke of how their lives have been moved on since being supported by the organisation. A huge well done to all. This was the first Sea Change board meeting to take place in Aberdeen. The lunch on the day was a great opportunity to our Aberdeen colleagues and people we work for in Aberdeen to get to meet and chat to our board of directors. It was a wonderful day and a pleasure being in a very sunny and welcoming Aberdeen. This was the fourth event as part of the Sea Change Scotland 15th year Celebration. Dates and mates at Tea in the Park. Summer is here, which means the air is filled with tantalising smells of barbecue smoke. Walking home means dodging water balloon fights and flip flops are the footwear of choice. Except you festival goers, get your wellies ready. Super exciting Dates and Mates is going to Tea in the Park. This July, we're offering our members the opportunity to attend one of the UK's premier music festivals. See our website for further details. 
In addition to this, we will also be present for the whole weekend as part of the Charity Village, sharing the good news and great opportunities being part of Dates and Mates offers. Come visit us and keep a watch on our Facebook page for further updates. Facebook.com forward slash Dates and Mates. For further information, please contact the Dates and Mates team on telephone number 0141 427 2957 or email us on dnm at c-change.org.uk. Tain the Park will take place between Friday the 8th and Sunday the 10th of July 2016. Charity Awards 2016 We were honoured to have been nominated under the category of disability for our Dates and Mates project as this year's UK Charity Awards. The Charity Awards is Civil Society Media's annual awards programme held to identify and recognise and reward organisations doing exceptional work in all areas of chari charitable activities. The award ceremony was held on the evening of Thursday the 9th of June 2016. Though we did not win, we feel very privileged to have been shortlisted for this prestigious award. Well done to Sign Health Charity for winning the Charity Award in the category of Disability. Such a worthwhile initiative working with the deaf community. We commend all of the charities nominated for the wonderful work they do and the positive life-changing differences that they make to so many people. For more information on the awards, nominees and the winners, please visit the Charity Awards website www.charityawards.co.uk Learning Disability Week 2016 Learning Disability Week this year took place between the 16th to the 20th of May. The theme of Learning Disability Week this year was Celebrating Success. We helped celebrate this by sharing some inspiring stories from some of the people we work for and Dates and Mates members on our Facebook page. You can read these by visiting facebook.com forward slash Scotland. Volunteer Celebration Week 2016 Volunteers Week, the big celebration, took place at the start of June. As part of this, we had a Sea Change volunteer meet-up and meal on the evening of Tuesday the 7th of June at the Tron Theatre, Restaurant and Bar. There were some great ideas discussed as well as a lovely meal and a chat where staff and volunteers got to know each other better. As part of the Volunteers Week we also posted some stories highlighting the great and invaluable work undertaken by our wonderful volunteers. You can read these by visiting facebook.com forward slash Sea Change Scotland. Sea Change Care Inspectorate Evaluation We have now received a final report from a recent Care Inspectorate visit on the 16th of March 2016. We are very happy to say that we received a score of 5 out of a possible 6 in each quality statement. We received no requirements or recommendations. You can download this report here. This has been the Sea Change Scotland news video for June 2016. I have been Audrey Crilly. And I have been John Cameron. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and, and have, have a great, great month. month.